survival of the fittest, another edition of stupid arguments. <laughs> but hey, let's talk about it. Survival of the fittest. Okay, which again, this is very stupid. Like I how I said, God created animals on one day. God created the uh the human race on another day. So what race are you? You are the human race, okay? We're just different of different pigments. We have different amount of melanin in our skin. But now I'm going to be stupid and I'm going to uh I'm going to be foolish and I'm going to enter the argument about survival of the fittest. Y'all, okay, if your Caucasian child intermarry with a black person, eventually y'all gonna become extinct. Just keep doing this. Just keep combining yourself and you're gonna become extinct. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for this full in the video. And as always, peace and love. But yes, back on to the matter at hand. Survival of the fittest. You know, if you think about it, when you think about Hitler and the people that, uh, um, involve themselves with genocide. Okay, you are trying to force the issue of survival of the fittest. It's not really that you are surviving or that you are most fit. You trying to kill everybody off so, you, so that you will be the only one in, in existence. But I have a feeling it don't seem like it has worked out because we still have so many colored people on the earth. But... There has been an effort to get rid of the other colors of people. Let's just keep the the ones that blush. And they say that uh, they were up there in the Caucasus Mountains, which I totally believe because in Genesis, there after the flood, there were three brothers, Ham, Sham, and Shaphat. Ham, which was the darkest, the blackest of them all. I'm not the darkest and the blackest of them all. I do have melanin in my skin, but not as much as Ham. Ham was the blackest of the people. Then you got Sham, which is believed to be that line of Christ, okay? They probably were kind of sorted by color. And then I believe that the Gentiles, the ones that he sent to the north, were... Uh, where people say they were from the Caucasus Mountains. So if you think about it, the true African Americans, because Africa, if you think about it, before the flood, all of the continents were kind of together. And then because of the flood waters, we have this um, formation called Pangaea where we're separate. So if you look on a map and you look at America and you look at Africa, they were right there together, okay? So... The Ham's people, it's very likely that when the quote-unquote Caucasians or Europeans came to America, there were colored people there. That's all you need to understand is that there were colored people there, okay? There were colored people there, and it makes sense because, again, Africa and America were once combined together, and if you look on the map, they will, if you close in that gap of water, they will blend right back into Africa. So basically, there were colored people on the continent when the people from the Caucasus Mountains or the Europeans got there. But also, where Europe is, Europe is closely related to Africa. Beginning of life began in the Garden of Eden. And in the Garden of Eden, if you look into history, if the real history book is the scriptures, okay? So if you look into the, the true history book, Ethiopia is a part of Africa, okay? So you got the Sodom and Gomorrah. That's all African, okay? And once again, after the flood, God sent Ham south. Okay, those were the rulers and the kings. They were the first slave holders. If you uh, go back into history, uh, those black people, with the darkest skin color, not a black race. No, we're all the human race. It's only one race. We just are different colors. Okay, and sometimes with that pigment comes different characteristics. Okay, you can see the uh, flamboyancy of people with darker skin tone. So it's something about the the genetics, the DNA that's wrapped up in. It does create certain uh, characteristics, creativity, and brilliance. <laughs> ah, ah, okay.
Okay, so I am tooting my horn right there. But uh, I'm just glad I got, you know, some of that, you know, in me. Hey, I like it. I like it. But and all of God's children are beautiful. But of course, being human, you always want to be the best. But it's good to acknowledge the truth. And I think that's where a lot of confusion comes from is because people don't want to acknowledge the truth. They don't want to accept their truths. So what they do is they try to change the truth. If you look back, if you look at um, hist historical movies that are speaking of Jesus, you see all of these uh, blushed face uh, Caucasians. And that's not fair because you know that the reality is that these people had color in their skin. You know that. So, and many times if you talk to a Caucasian person and ask them why the history is portrayed in such a way, some people today call it whitewash. But why it is portrayed in such a way, uh, many of them will go on to say, well, why does it matter? Okay, so if it doesn't matter, then why not leave the truth as it is? <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, so just speaking of survival of the fittest, there has been an effort once again to genocide um, people that are uh, uh, have color in their skin i don't know if that is jealousy i'm not sure you all comment and let me know why is there an effort to get rid of those people with color in their skin but once again if you really are going to be honest and talk about the survival of the fittest um again if you combine your Caucasian daughter with a black person who is really going extinct. <laughs> I really don't mean to say it like that because I love all people. You know, I care about all people. But the reality is, okay, it's a, you know, I think um, some, if my brother, he has went back in time to look at our um, ancestry and I think we are Norwegian, Norwegian. And so my great, 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 great grandfather, okay, is, has blushed skin, okay? Or, how, you know, how people say, we're not really white, right? And a person is not really black, right? So, I don't know. It's just a lighter skin tones and darker skin tones. But again, we're all a part of the human race. Let's always keep it simple, stupid. It's good to keep it simple, stupid, you know? Sometimes we get just so smart that we uh, forget about basic truths and just common knowledge and common sense, you know? So sometimes uh, we just shouldn't let the scriptures say knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. So this was a um, <laughs> another episode of dumb conversations, news you really can't use about survival of the fittest. What are your thoughts on survival of the fittest? Like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And as always, peace and love. Let's talk about it.